Hey guys, um, I just wanted to do a quick tutorial on kind of following up on some of the things I've been doing here in regards to the Fire TV. Uh, if you've watched the last couple ones, I've shown you how to install Kodi with uh, the use of this program called ES File Explorer. Um, so what I want to do now is just kind of show you how you can add Kodi to your Recents menu up at the top here. Um, but you'll need a computer and you'll need to download a program called uh, ADB Fire. So the first thing we got to do, I'm just going to set up the Fire TV first. The first thing we got to do is go down to Settings. And in Settings, we want to go to System and scroll down to Developer Options. In Developer Options, you want to have ADB Debugging and Apps from Unknown at On. And then the next thing I'm going to do is just simply install an app real quickly. And the app we're going to install is called Icono TV. And it doesn't show up on the bottom here, but if you just click it, it should show up. So it's this kind of pink looking one. Uh, we want to install this. It's free, so just download it. And once this is installed, your next step will be using your computer or your laptop or whatever to, to uh, use the ADB Fire program, which I'll show you next. Guys, so here's the second step in all this. Um, and you know, ideally, if you're going to be doing this, it's probably just easier to install Kodi and whatnot through ADB Fire. Um, the only reason I like using ES File Explorer is to handle the updates and whatnot of the actual program. It's just much easier to be able to go into a, uh, ES File Explorer and uh, install or update the Kodi version as opposed to having to pull out your computer or laptop or something like that to do it. Um, but I like having access to Kodi on the recent screen there, so this is why I usually typically set this up. Now, if you've downloaded this, I'll leave a link where you can get it. Um, the first thing we need to do, I'm using it on a Mac, so it might be a little bit different uh, as opposed to Windows, but the first thing we need to do is set up your actual Fire TV stick. So um, you're going to need to find the IP address uh, of your Fire TV. So I didn't show it on my last little part there, but in order to do that, if you just go to your settings at the bottom of the Fire TV and scroll over to system again, and if you go to about, and then you go down to network, you should see something that says IP address. Typically, it'll be something like a 192.168.0 or .1, mine's a .74 here. And uh, I've already installed it, so I just click save. And then uh, I've connected, but basically your next step there, I'll just disconnect to show you. Um, your next step is to just hit connect, and it will take a few seconds, but ideally down in the bottom right here, you should get ADB running and then device connected. So the next thing we want to do is we want to go into Llama Options. And as you'll see here, the Icono TV. So basically what this is going to do is it's going to use the Icono TV app to um, it will replace that and we'll use that to kind of launch Kodi. So it, you want to make sure that you, if you haven't done this, is you want to install Llama. So Icono TV, make sure it's selected to Kodi if you're using Kodi, which I am. Um, it's the latest version. What we want to do is replace the program icon. And what I typically do is just link Media Center to program. Click OK. And you'll notice down on the bottom here we've got uh, device connected ADB running. So it'll take a few minutes here to finish, but it should give you a confirmation. And there you go. So Llama installed, Llama settings applied. So the next thing we have to do is go back to the Fire TV and run Llama. All right, guys, we're back now and we're back at the Fire TV. So um, to do this next step and the final step actually is we go to settings down at the bottom again and we want to scroll over to applications. You want to scroll down to manage installed applications and from in here you should see Llama now. So we just want to open that, launch application. Um, you'll get some notices. Uh, you just click accept. And you'll get another one, hit okie doke. Um, basically what you want to do here is scroll down to the bottom left there. Uh, I'll see if you're right here. And click that. 
scroll all the way down to whoops, import export data. We want to import from USB storage. Click yes. And that should do it. Um, you can relaunch if you want. If it doesn't work, you can do that again. But um, that's all you have to do. So the next thing, and as you can see now, so here's Cody, you'll see on the main screen. And basically what all this does is it will launch Icona TV, which closes and then launches Cody, which we've done here. I hope that helps. If you have questions, don't hesitate to ask or leave a comment.